Welcome back. All right, so a quick little news of the day video. Uh, I would imagine it being Monday and all, there'll be more news to report on later. Uh, either way, there'll be, of course, other videos that will get thrown onto the channel later as well. Uh, but yeah, so the Boston Bruins last night, and I figured, well, I'll report on it in the morning, so here we are. Uh, they have decided to part ways with Mitchell Miller within days of signing him. This really is a matter of either... Either they're not telling the truth about how much due diligence they did. So maybe they looked at everything and said, you know what, we'll just, we'll sign him and we'll just, we'll get through it. People will just get over it within a couple of days and then saw, no, uh, all the details got dredged back up. And so, yeah, now the Bruins have, have renounced that, that move. It, it just ends up being a PR nightmare for the Bruins, does nothing to help them. Um, I've, I've seen the post too, but well, it's cancel culture. It's not though. See, when you're, when you're in the situation Miller is where he's a free agent and he's, he's free to sign somewhere, uh, a team that's looking to sign him then can do the same thing that any employer would do before hiring you. And a background check is standard with a lot of jobs. I know the last time that, um, I applied for a full-time job, I, there, there's like different checks they do. Uh, you definitely have. I, I know when I've applied for a place to live, I've had to do a criminal background check. So it, it, it is not un, really outside of the realm of, of, of normalcy for somebody to say, you know, we'll, we'll do our, our check. And then they have the right to say no. There is definitely the right for somebody to say, we have decided not to give you the job, right? And so that's something that can happen with professional athletes as well. And it does, where teams are like, yeah, we've, we've decided to let you go. And there's various reasons. And in this case, if Boston, and again, it, it feels like there's no way they didn't know about all this, right? This was really big news two years ago, and so you would think they would have known about all this, but apparently they didn't. Um, in, in Miller's case, it really is a matter of him not having shown any kind of remorse at the time, no contrition. And and we've, we've been through this. Uh, this. This has all been litigated before, right? Uh, apparently, he sent an apology via Snapchat to the the now adult uh, who he abused when they were kids um, via like via Snapchat. Anyways, uh, so I I mean, there's so many different ways to to look at this, but again, nobody here got canceled because he he never had a job in the NHL. This is just a guy applying for a job and the employer. Uh, hiring him and then realizing they made a mistake and letting him go. So most jobs have a probationary period. I understand pro sports are different. Um, I mean, he's, he's still likely going to get some money out of this. So there's there's that side of it for Miller. And there's the possibility that another team in the NHL will look at this and say, well, we'll pick him up. So there's, the, there's still that possibility, right? Uh, so it's over on the Boston side of things. They just end up looking kind of kind of rough from the the public relations standpoint and and again i i kind of feel like them them cutting him now makes it look kind of worse like okay so you didn't do your due diligence then which we know they didn't so anyways it's it's done for now uh and i will see whether or not another team ends up picking him up uh so on to other news from around the hockey world for today uh, it is game number 500 for Connor McDavid tonight. So for Connor McDavid in 500, in 499 games, going into his 500th, he has 722 points. Turns out that's pretty good. The all-time leader after the first 500 games is Gretzky with 1,186 points. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Um, and Mario Lemieux, 971 points in his first 500 games. So he was nowhere near as good, well... Anyways, uh, the, the reality is that Lemieux was was right up there with Gretzky. And yeah, um, both of them were ridiculously good at scoring goals and points. Uh, Peter Stastny, 759 points in his first 500 games. If only Peter Stastny had come over and played in the NHL as an 18 or 19 year old. Uh, yeah, uh, he'd be he'd be in the all time on the all time list too. A lot higher than where he is, I think. Uh, Mike Bossy, 757 points in his first 500 games. And Yari Curry had 730 in his first 500 games, in part because he played with Wayne Gretzky. So, yeah, uh, all the best to McDavid. We'll see if he can score nine points to pass Curry. I don't think he does. 
but uh, we'll see. He's done uh, things we don't expect him to do before. So for Connor McDavid, uh, yeah, uh, congratulations on reaching that 500th game. I'm sure there's at least 500 more to go. Will they all be in Edmonton? That's the question. And and by which I mean, will they all be as playing playing as an Oiler? They should be, but we'll see. Uh, Rem Pitlick is going to be going on waivers today. Uh, the Habs have to make a move. And for Pitlick, he's been a healthy scratch. He has no points in seven games. It's a it's a pretty easy move to make. While Pitlick was very good for Montreal yes, or last year, Yesterday. Last year. Yesterday they didn't even play. But while he was very good for them last season, uh, this season he's been very quiet. And so this is a move that uh, honestly is is probably the smart move to make. I don't think Pitlick gets picked up on waivers. That being said, he has been picked up on waivers before. So we'll see if he clears waivers this time. There is some offensive side of his game which might be tempting to a team that's going through a lot of injuries like Washington. But... I, I get the feeling the defensive side of his game is why he's ended up on waivers as many times as he has. But we'll see, right? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.